finding himself back here, back in the North America, United States. He's been messing around with Snake. He's been messing around with Chrom. And right now, I think Shoyo James has been kind of a huge inspiration for him to like actually keep pursuing the solo maining of Chrom. So that's, we're going to see what he can do here today, right? Because Chrom is just one of those characters that can easily just rush you down and just apply so much pressure. But the second Peepnut gets him off stage with the Mega Man, things could be disastrous. Oh, indeed. And you see Peepnut. He's trying to do that right now, applying that pressure that he can and... Uh, uh, just continues to see if he can push Mr. R off stage. A little out of range though with that up smash, yeah. allowing Mr. R to play again. Yeah, I think Pimno was expecting Mr. R to jump out of shield and try to like Ooh. jump into him with a swing. So that's why he was just running that up smash. It was kind of like a just a get off me move. Wasn't obviously wasn't gonna get the kill. Mr. R going for a kind of a big read there. Waits for the spot dodge. Good awareness coming out from Pimno trying to get this edge guard. Speaking of awareness, that air dodge after the nair was so key by Mr. Mm -hmm. R. He could have been pushed off a little bit too far, making things difficult for him and easier for Peanut to edge guard. Right. And you see Peanut, you see him jump off but didn't commit to anything. I think that was data download for future on in the match. He was like, how are you going to react to this uh, getting back to the stage? All right, cool. Next time I'll have the back air waiting for you or something. Yep, and right there you saw Mr. R with that full jump back air just to catch Peanut coming out of the corner, but Peanut has center control again. Yeah, he's going to be able to try to play his projectile game away from Tom. It's going to force Mr. R to try to approach through him, try to get away through this zoning. Ooh, and you see that spacing. He doesn't want to get within the jab range. You notice he's respecting Mr. R, probably waiting for a whip so he could play again. Yeah, Mr. R really wants that jab because that'll connect into a back air. Yep. Off to go for the grab. Mm -hmm. Tosses him back off stage. So smart, especially after seeing how pensive that Pete is playing. Okay, there it is. Even that looked like max distance neutral yeah. right there. The spacing on both of these players. And it's the second fastest out of shield option, too, coming out of uh, uh, frame nine. Now wow. he's getting back onto the stage. Calls him out, going for the neutral get up. He's not looking to try to get this kill, but he's doing the same recovery a lot of the time. I wonder if Peanut's eventually going to catch on to that. He goes for the air dodge right into the ledge. Yep, right now being the first stock, of course, it's an opportunity to download information. Peanut getting the stock with that forward air and such smart play using that rush to avoid any invincible approaches by Mr. R. And the South Carolina crew is here. You see him popping off of the boy, taking away that first stock. It's very important to start out, you know, set the tempo of this match. But here he's already at 164%. Mr. R. You know, having a little bit of trouble finding this kill because Peanut's playing incredibly safe. Doesn't want to commit to like a, a forward tilt or something like this because Jab will no longer combo into back air. We'll probably just go for like a full hot border right afterwards. Yeah, man. Speaking of it playing incredibly safe, looking at the way Peepnut was even able to get that tech chase off of the knockdown from the Nair, covering the option with the Leaf Shield, but here it is. You saw that pressure coming out from Mr. Air, just throwing out those forward airs until eventually Mr. Peepnut found himself cornered against that ledge. So he had to go for it. Now the up air chains begin. Oh man, that move is so scary. Yeah, it comes out super quick, a huge combo starter. Be able to get a lot of massive damage. Can even combo into like a zero death off stage. And you see right now, Mr. Art probably trying to mask some of his up air approaches through the platform. Get, get, to start something really big here, but Peep Nut, I Ooh. like that. Yes, it gets. So Mr. R has been recovering so high with his up Bs mm -hmm. to make it difficult for Peep Nut to get on top and spike. Right, with, oh. you got to be unpredictable with your soaring slashes. Yeah, exactly. You can't be recovering the exact same way every time, especially with something that's abusable as that. Because, like, Mega Man's down air is pretty disjointed. You know, there's yeah. a little fear about accidentally getting dragged down yourself. So smart right there. And I like how Peepnut made his landing safe with the Leaf Shield. Faded back, too. Ooh. Oh, that was so smart for Mr. R. He actually down tilted the bomb to get the crash bomb out of there, covering, uh, you know, giving Peepnut, like, a free way to get back to the stage. Catches the roll, tosses him back off stage, throwing out all these projectiles, but hold on a second. I thought he was going to bring him straight down to the blast zone. Back throw opportunity. Has him off stage again. Peepnut opting to just try to get this down here, but that's what I was talking about. He's mixing up his timing. He gets the hit, and you die no matter what percent you're at, you are going to explode. It's crazy. It looked like he understood what to do in that situation, but he was just a little bit too close to the soaring slash, yeah. as you noticed. He didn't expect Mr. R to go for it so early, but that's okay. He cleaned up that stock really easily with a back here. We have ourselves a one stock situation. And this is where things start to get heated, right? Mr. R, again, looking for the up airs, looking for just aerials in general to get some easy damage. Trying to zone him out with his own sword. Because he's got these projectiles. He's throw out, tossing out the metal blade, the pellets. Here we go. Big damage. He had a tech read there. But unfortunately for him, Mr. R was going to go for the ledge drop up air. Yes, and now Mr. R taking all this stage positioning. Wow, okay, was that a back air? I think that was supposed to be a back air. Okay, yeah. yeah. Might, might have been a missed input on him. That easily would have put Peepnut off stage. But now Peepnut again, keeping that center, trying to keep him out. And yo, the confirm off the metal blade, that was so quick. Good awareness. He's got him off stage. This is an opportunity. He gets the spike. And Peepnut taking game number one from Mr. R's Crumb. That's exactly what he was trying to do the entire first game. You saw him going for the soaring slash, going super high. That's how I believe he even used the platform to give himself some extra vertical distance to be able to solidify that spike. Finally got it, and that's going to be game one, D1. Yeah, man, I have to say those high-soaring slashes are what made things really difficult in the beginning for Peepnut with regard to edge guarding. 
Mr. R. But the moment you saw Peepnut knock Mr. R far enough where he had to opt for lower recovery, all of a sudden the edge guard got a whole lot easier. But I have to say, man, that match, that first game, that was quite exciting one. Yeah. Uh, uh, to see the shift, the constant tug of war of control between both of these players, it was pretty, I felt like it was pretty nebulous with regard to who was going to win the first game. And now Roy. we see Mr. R switching over to Roy instead. Wow. I, I think, honestly, I kind of agree with this because he does have a Roy as well. Okay. Only because of Soaring Slash, because Mega Man can capitalize yeah. on it. You saw it. The second he recovered low, Mega Man was already there. This way, it'll be a much harder for him to try to get this spike against Roy. He's got a, a slightly uh, less abusable recovery. Still not the greatest in the world, but miles better than Krom's. Oh, yeah, indeed. Like, it's not as exploitable. So, yes. because of that, now Mr. R can. Pro oh, my gosh, Did really? You see that? Hold on a sec. My I, man's trying to style. I mean, uh, knowing Peepna, he probably meant to do that on purpose. I wish I got to see it connect. Regardless, though, here it is again. Oh. Okay, there we go. Able to get back onto the stage. Spike's not going to be able to connect that. Because a lot of times you'll see Mr. R. Oh, my God. Gets Austin. the Trump. Double jump back air. Austin. Gets him out of there. What's up, D1? Talk Austin, to me. He is so confident in the way that he's using Mega Man right now versus Mr. R, dude. It, th this is like the first year of Ultimate, right? Yes. And I have yet to see Peepna in a while since Smash 4. It's been a bit, dude, but he's been, he's been rocking Mega Man for a what? very long time. You yes, see him, he has. He is dominating the stage. He's like incredibly hard for the sortie to get it. You see him just constantly throwing out these three pellets against him, just, uh, just not allowing him to start to like, close this gap. Gets the neutral air, pushing him back off. Goes for a near at his shield, a very quick option. But and the thing is, he's super close to just one good swing from Roy will send him flying. But the thing is, he has to get in super close with the range. Exactly There's what I was about spot. to mention. He has to get in close because you understand he's not playing Krom anymore, right? He has less range and he, of course, benefits off of the inside hits of the sword. And because of that, that could be good for Pibna because he's the one that's facing the entire time. And he put the crash bomb around the stage to give him some uh, breathing room to get back onto the stage. 79% counter, gonna be able to punish that. Just goes for the safe grab to push him back off stage. Hold on a sec, dash right? attack! Yo. That works? And again, Mr. R being forced to recover on stage, which just makes it easier for Peepna. Peepna. Oh, he's done. Beautiful Peepna. interception. Wow. I could not believe that. And the thing is, the Metal Blade, because he can throw it at such a diagonal, yeah. he's, he, I don't know if the Roy's working out, man. Might be just go back to the Krom, because this is looking yeah. destructive. He hasn't lost a single stock yet. This is Mr. R's time to shine. Here we go. Just needs to get, uh, just get this kill. You're playing Roy. He he hits so hard. He just needs that one good forward tilt, a jab in the back air, something. He not understands this, which is why you notice he's just fading back, biding his time. He, like, almost like three minutes off the clock already. We're working on four very soon. And this still Mr. Star is having a tough time. 144%. Peep nut. Again? Three suck? How many times have we seen him go for a sour spot back here forward to with Roy? That would have killed with Krom. Uh-oh. Right there. That was a tough spot. Like, Mr. Star actually messed up. He aimed his uh, neutral in the wrong jab in the wrong direction. Yeah. Back on stage. No hey. KOs yet. Yeah, no KOs. Oh, there we go. He just runs off stage. And again, that was a sour spot forward. But he was so close to the yeah. blast. So high a percent. He was eventually going to kill. But he is sitting at 86%. Mr. R is bleeding right now. And he has to play a lot of pick-me-up work here. And He's if you notice, he actually pushed. Oh, wait. Interception. He just went for it. I don't know, man. He's at a double jump. He's going to try to get the spike. Gets back to the stage. Mr. R lived to see another day. 117% though. Coming through. And there's the up tilt. But sour spot and allowing the star to play yet again. Now he's looking for some up airs to try to get some combo conversions with Roy, but gets caught by the back air out of his double jumps, catches it, goes for the trade, and Peepnut upsetting Mr. R with a 2-0 victory, setting him to losers. He's going to be moving on to top 64 winner's side. Ladies and gentlemen, what a battle. Mega Man. Who who to thunk it? Mega Man, dude. Yeah, tough spot for Mr. R, of course. You know, you could tell, you know, being a player who has access to training with a lot of amazing players, to you know, fall to, to, to fall so early in the tournament, it, it, it can be a heartbreaker. Regardless of who you're playing, you never want to get sent to the.